Acre in the suburbs. I'm Sarah. We've had a lot of rain recently. A lot of sun, a lot of rain. Things are starting to take off and so I know I need to start staking um, our tomatillos, capsicum um, and tomatoes and probably our cucumber. But I have seen people just let them go wild along the ground and they're fine like that so I might do a little bit more research into that. Just trying to think of what else we need to do. So yeah that's really what I'm trying to get done today. It's meant to be thunder and lightning. But right now it's just grey. Grey and cloudy. So that's what we're kind of doing today. So here's where they're progressing. I'm trying to work out how I'm going to stake them. I might do a row along here, kind of like have three and then weave some, I've got some wool that I'm not using at the moment that I might weave around them and just keep going up as they get taller. And I might do another row with a second lot here. One, two, and then there's one little one there. <laughs> so I have to go around the edge. I might need another stake here then. I've got some bamboo ones there, but I need another bamboo yeah, round about the air. Hi little man! Grass is growing like crazy, as expected. This poor little plant, which is stabby, I realised. Um, I got one of its little, little prickly bits on my finger and it was sore, so I don't want to touch it anymore. There was some cucumbers, uh oh, they're all drying up. It wasn't happy when I got it, but it did produce <laughs> oh you're a cutie it did produce two more cucumbers but I can see all the little happy cucumbers that were starting to produce have all dried up so I think just it's been too wet for it I put an overflow tomatillo here and here we'll just see how they go and then mystery I think there's a purple cabbage maybe who knows dunno oh these will be <laughs> wow I didn't even notice them those will be all our radishes oh buddy another cucumber lots of flowers on these cucumbers they're apple cucumbers. Um, wow, look at them all. Radishes grow so fast, don't they? I think this is the Easter egg radish, and then the breakfast radish was over here, maybe? Oh yeah, there's a couple, maybe, that one. There's definitely some weeds too. Oh, you're so needy, hi. And then I see this one's bolted. It looks like this might have bolted, because it's a little flower. Or is that a little weed? Nope. Little tiny baby bolted, and that one's bolting. Or is that them? Yeah, no, that's them bolting, isn't it? Some of them are going quite well, but our weather has been pretty extreme with very hot, very humid, very, very wet. So, yeah, these are going really well. Woo! Some flowers. Some more flowers. So, yeah, I'm really chuffed with these. Oh, and that's a melon. Going really, really well. <laughs> My little daisy that I saved out of the lawn. I hear passion fruit don't love um, lots of healthy soil <laughs> um, or too much water. And I'm a bit worried the drainage from this when I water it is not great. So I might have to have a look at solutions for that. I think a bird, a bird obviously got to this. That looks very bird. They can have it. Like, oh, it looks like a few birds have been getting to it. These definitely I knew were not safe from birds and slugs and oh yeah they're getting annihilated. That's a pity because the ones that I thought were safe are getting <laughs> getting absolutely obliterated by the baby who he sees one like this and he's pulling them off and then he's trying to bite them realizing they taste terrible and he's throwing them into a big pile off the deck. It's getting too wet for these as well. <coughs> oh wow look at you. Uh oh. I might have to start pulling off some of these little these little suckers. That's what you do, eh? So my nana told me you don't need them so low to the ground. She told me it keeps them tidier, but to be honest, they're gonna end up a mess anyway. We'll see. Okay. But we've got some little flowers and some tomatoes growing, so that's exciting. Alright, where's our string? Put this one here. And then we need one more for over there, which I have. I do have some more bamboo sticks, but they're... Actually, I bought them for our trees. 
which I need to print. Oh, sorry, I just don't have the energy to go and dig out the rest of the bamboo and level off the ground to do it. They're all pretty happy, but I do need to get them into the ground pretty quickly because it's just the weather's going to change and it's going to get hot and they're not going to love it. But very soon they will not be happy. Cats galore! Hi, Motley. This is our old girl. She is maybe 15 or 16. Hi, I need to work that out actually. Yeah, girl. And she is the vocal cat. The boss. Hey. Little man doesn't like that she's the boss. And it's taken about six years for them to come to terms with that. Even though, mainly George, but these two both adopted this little kitten from next door and said, can we keep him? And we kept him and then they decided, not a fan, really. Okay, that was a bit hard on my back. Didn't love that, but right. I'm just trying to use stuff that's around and not buy too much new stuff because we do have lots of odd bods around. And um, I saw this downstairs. I got given a lot of wool and it's a pulled apart project. Um, so often the fibers are stretched and a little bit weak. Um, it's fine, but it's wool and I liked that. Um, it's a natural fibre so if it eventually breaks down which it probably will with our sun um, I can just put some more up but it will be fine in the garden it will just break down into organic matter also using a cotton singlet top that I'd worn out I just um, ripped it into little shreds and I'm going to use that for yeah some of the tying up here for the same reason just using what we have um, hmm. Oh, they're wet as soon as they came close. There's a bunch of little flies on there. I should. Here they are. What are you? Hmm. Get off. Capsicums are the main thing that I wanted to grow this year, and tomatillos because we can't get them, but mainly capsicums because they're so expensive, and my kids really like them, especially in tomato pastas and stuff and they're so high in vitamin C so I really wanted to grow a lot of them so that I could um, freeze them this year but none of my seedlings worked and a lot of the garden stores did not have like I got these two from a garden store but they're quite expensive just for an established plant they didn't have a lot of little seedlings and she just said that they they struggled with them this year so it luckily was not just me but none of my capsicum seedlings that I planted sprouted at all just making sure that how I'm doing it I can see it on this one as one piece of walls on this side the others on that side and that's gonna keep it up and then as it gets up to this one I'll just pop it between them that one's got none of them but it doesn't need it at the moment <laughs> I'll work out that one soon but yeah so that's how I've kind of done it and that's my plan Hopefully that's good enough. I might do it with, I'm gonna to have to get some more stakes for these three. 
but this little broken cherry tomato is doing really really well and that's where it snapped off and this is what sprouted and then this is the snapped off bit, bit and this is doing really well too so I'm very happy with how things are going <laughs> I'm stoked with these I haven't had radishes since um, my papa grew them and I tried them when I was oops sorry it's humid as you can see when I was seven maybe I just thought they were spicy and not very nice but I've heard that pickling them is really nice and things like that so I'll give it a go um, they're very easy to grow they're quite satisfying with how fast they grow so that is all I know about them right so the last thing is I need to string these up as well same thing I'm fast losing the will to do it and the weather is looking like it's about to start raining so I better get onto it okay so that's the final product for this one um, I went a bit taller because of this one here <laughs> it's getting quite tall quite fast and then I'll make my way to the top I'll come back out with it at some point but I should just do it now but anyway it's a choice I made so question I want to leave you with is laterals on tomatoes do you pull them do you leave them um, pros and cons any advice and also if you've seen anything I could be doing better or different constructive criticisms <laughs> um, because obviously I'm new to everything welcome all um, advice um, I'd love to build a little community around this because this is all about learning and I'd love for people that are wanting to get into it to join us in this journey and if there's lots of people commenting which I know on Acre Homestead's um, YouTube channel I was such an avid reader of all her comments because they gave such good um, comments and advice on and I learned so much from that so um, I'm hoping I can be the same kind of resource um, for maybe a different side of the world or just in general starting from a really beginner perspective. Mm -hmm.